members of all ages, the New York State Police are proud to showcase man's best friend in our canine demonstration. All right, day three, Great New York State Fair! You guys ready to have fun today? All right, we have a very special show for you guys today. This will be the best thing that you guys do or see at the entire New York State Fair. Now, something we ask of you guys in the audience, if you think it's something's funny, we want you to laugh. If you like something, clap. Basically, the louder you guys can be, the better our dogs perform. So, before we start, I'm going to introduce you to a few people. Right here, we have Big Dan, just gonna send it, Smith. Up in the tower, we have DJ DeRoshi. Show them what you got, DJ. He has some skills up there. And without any further ado, our host for today's events, we call him the director, Trooper Eric Nash. Hello, everyone. Is my rock star smoke? Do you love it? I like it. Welcome everybody to the great New York State Fair and thank you very, very much for coming out to see us today. And welcome to what I consider the most exciting, energetic, entertaining show here at the entire fair, the great New York State Police canine exhibit. So welcome and thank you very much for coming out today. Uh, I'm Trooper Eric Knapp with the State Police. I've been a trooper for the last 19 years. I've had the good fortune of being a canine handler for the last 10 years. And lucky for you folks today, I'm your MC for the next half an hour. So everyone remain calm, you're stuck with me. And a little bit of a factoid here for you regarding me. It was on August 15th, just about a week and a half ago, that I became the oldest member of the Troop D canine unit on my birthday when I turned 350 years old in dog years. So you got the oldest boy here today, so you're stuck with the uh, ger geriatric dog with me today. So anyways, we're gonna have a lot of fun today, and hopefully you'll learn a little bit. Uh, today we're going to have some of our canine handlers bringing their canine partners out to exhibit the skills that they utilize every day while they protect the people of the state of New York. But before they come on out, I'm just going to give you a broad overview of our canine program. Basically, in 1975, the state police purchased three explosive detecting canines from the United States Army in anticipation of the 1980 Winter Olympics up in Lake Placid. Since then, our unit has grown to 99 canine teams throughout the New York State which makes the New York State Police the largest non-military canine unit in the entire country. We've got three bloodhound teams that are for strictly for tracking, and then we have 96 multi-purpose patrol dogs that either have the specialty of explosives detection or narcotics detection. Now, the reason we use dogs for police work is for their extremely strong sense of smell. So we'll use a dog's strong sense of smell to either detect narcotics or explosives where we might not see them with our eyes. We'll also detect the odor of human beings who will track for lost or missing people or bad guys that run away. We'll also use that very, very strong sense of smell to find a bad guy or a burglar hiding in a building. And 31 of our teams throughout the state are also cross-designated with cadaver training. That means they use their strong sense of smell to find human remains or cadavers. And finally, we use those shiny white things right underneath their nose called their teeth to protect us. So like a lot of you guys out here, we go to school as well. So our training facility is located centrally in Cooperstown, New York. So back in the year 2000, through the generosity of Ms. Jane Forbes Clark and the Clark Foundation, a 10,000 square foot facility was built for us on 2,000 acres of land. So that's where our 99 canine teams, as well as over 50 outside agencies, received their basic training, as well as their semi-annual recertification. And then finally, folks, I want to talk to you about our, the names of our dogs. Each one of our dogs is named in honor of a trooper that lost their life in the line of duty. So it's the distinct honor for every canine handler to be able to carry out the memory of that fallen trooper through the daily hard work of their dog. So if you happen to see any uh, state police canine handler, ask them about the name of their dog and they'd be happy to tell you a story. So I know this is my first time meeting a lot of you guys out here today. Uh, you can probably get a good feel for me for right now meeting you like, you, I like to talk, okay? I, I gotta get for the gap. So you can either listen to me flat my gums for the next half hour or you can guys can see a dog. Do you guys wanna see a dog? Yeah! Or you can listen to me talk for half an hour. Do you guys wanna see some dogs? Yeah! Ooh, uh, yeah! We got a feisty group out here today, boys. Let's give them a show. Oh, yeah! Our first canine handler is a 16-year veteran of the New York State Police. Station out of SPO Nida. 
Before he became a trooper, he was an understudy for the job of Dr. Evil in the Austin Powers movies. Let me introduce you to Trooper Kevin Connors and Bloodhound. You guys can pet her when she comes by. Sheedy. You guys can pet her. Sheedy's a four-year-old female bloodhound named in honor of Trooper Craig. How does she need? But all these years that I've been here and nobody got past red. So this is my canine partner, Sheeny. I have had Sheeny since she was an eight-week-old puppy. When I got Sheeny, she was this big, and she rode the entire way home in my wife's purse. Before we start here today, Sheeny always needs to stretch. We've been using bloodhounds in the state police since 1934. The reason we use bloodhounds is to look for people that are lost, missing, or criminals that fled the scene. Now, the reason we use bloodhounds is they have a really strong nose. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna have everybody take your thumb just like this and cover up your nose. So do you guys see how your thumb covers up most of your nose? All right, you can put your thumbs down now. When I do that same thing to Sheenie, you can still see her nose. So we as humans, we have five million scent receptors. Five million, that's a huge number, right? The average bloodhound has 300 million scent receptors. So five million versus 300 million. The next question everyone asks is when my dogs are looking or trailing somebody, what are they actually following? So how many of you guys in the audience have seen Peter Pan before? Oh, well, looks like most of you. So there's a character in there named Tinkerbell, right? Everywhere Tinkerbell goes, Tinkerbell is throwing out pixie dust. Well, we as humans, we're throwing out our own form of pixie dust in the form of skin cells. We shed 40,000 skin cells per minute and 70% of the dust in your house is from these skin cells. So with that being said, hopefully you guys like who uh, you're going to sit next to each other here today. Yeah. So what Sheenie is trained to do is I give her an article of clothing from the person that's lost or missing or the criminal that fled the scene. And she smells that and then she knows to follow their pixie dust or their skin cells. A couple characteristics that Sheenie has that helps her do her job is her big ears. Do you guys see these things? Good thing it's not too much windier out here. We could probably fly away, right? So these ears actually do not help her hear. What they do is they help her smell. What they do is they drag along the ground just like this, and it picks up that scent or that odor she's looking for, and it brings it to her powerful nose. Now, another thing that Sheenie has that helps her do her job is all this loose skin. You guys see how loose all this skin is? What happens to this loose skin when she puts her nose down a trail? Her face wrinkles up just like this. You guys see that? Is that funny or what? Can you guys see it down there? So all these wrinkles collect the scent particles and it brings it to her powerful nose. Now, last but not least, Sheenie drools. The other day, she shook just like that and the whole front row got covered with drool. It was pretty disgusting. Now, the reason they drool is the wet nose works better. So they take that drool with their tongue when they're trailing for somebody and they put it on their nose. Now, just to prove to you guys how much she drools, look at this. I collected this drool here this morning. You guys see all that drool? Is that disgusting or what? So an old time handler, he was running around here somewhere today. He taught me a little trick about this drool. He has a really good head of hair and he said it's really good for growing hair. And if you don't notice, I need help in that department, huh? So I think what he said is you take a little of this drool, just like this, and you rub it on your head. Is it, is it working? Am I growing any hair? No? <clears throat> Maybe he said you are so supposed to drink it. What do you think? Sound like a good idea? You want to see me drink it? No! Oh! Actually, it kind of tastes like chicken. Is it working? I think he was pulling my leg. Thank you, guys. For Kevin Connors and Bloodhound Sheenie, the reason we only have three Bloodhound teams in the state is because those boys are a little eccentric and they're tough to deal with. So thanks again to Trooper Connors. We really appreciate Sheenie. Oh, Sheenie, hey. stop drinking Kevin, the drool. Kevin, you got your mic on. Sheenie, stop mic drinking the drool. What's oh, going no, on there? Sheenie just drank her own drool. Oh, oh, whoa, I feel uh, like I'm growing hair. And whoa, whoa, Sheenie is multiplying. What? Yeah, she multiplied. You want to see it? All right. You guys want to see it? <laughs> oh! Bloodhound Sheenie and Bloodhound Tilly. Tilly's a four-month-old bloodhound in training, named in honor of Trooper Thomas Lines. 
Trooper Connors is training Tilly. He placed down in Troop K SB Poughkeepsie in the spring of 2019. I just have uh, one last thing to say. Hello, ladies. Get out of here. <laughs> Evidently, the mullet is back in style. Go get him, Trooper Connors. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask you this question maybe more than once today, but I'm going to ask you again. Do you guys have any interest in seeing another dog? Yeah! All right, we do have a lively crowd. All right, our next hander is a six-year veteran of the New York State Police Station out of SP Hastings. Prior to becoming a state trooper, she was the 2007 Oswego uh, County Mud Wrestling Champion. Let me introduce you to Trooper Kylie Black and K-9 Rowan. What is a 90-pound half-German Shepherd, half-Belgian Malinois? Named in honor of Trooper Ernest Rudd, his specialty is explosive detection. That dog does not stop barking at me. This is ridiculous. Trooper Black, just keep that... Stop that dog barking. I've got to talk here. Trooper Black has got to be one of the most respectful troopers on the entire unit. She's very engaging with the public and a wonderful addition to our unit. Very, very polite. Absolutely love her having her around. That dog of hers continues to bark and kind of annoying. Anyways, the reason Trooper Black is out here today is because there's a focus on physical fitness with the state police. Part of a specialty unit, we're held to a higher standard of physical fitness, and Trooper Black is our physical fitness guru. That dog just doesn't stop barking. Um, anyways, Trooper Black is a whole workout regimen that she works out with Canine Rudd here, and she's going to show us a few things. That, I have no idea what's going on here. A few things that she does to stay in shape for her annual physical fitness. Trooper Black, what do you do for your, your first workout? Squats with your dog? Rudd can do them? All right, let's see them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that's 49 squats in dog years. Wow, that was a great job, Rudd. Good work. You're going to take a break? Oh, my goodness, you lounge lizard. I know it's kind of hot today, but really? Did you have to wear your smock out today? All right. Now, Trooper Black, you, you've got another trademark workout that you do with Rudd. Am I correct? Oh, lunges. So it's a combination of Rudd lunges. So Rudd is 90 pounds. What do you do with Rudd? You pick that dog up and do lunges? That's why you're the powerhouse that you are. All right. Let's see Trooper Kylie Black and K-9 Rudd do some lunges. You're kidding me. What are you doing? I heard uh, you guys are jazzercising out here. You, you, you think? Well, what are you doing out here, Mr. Body by Neglect? Uh, I'm here to start working out. I'm going to start working out today. Today's the day. T today is yeah. the day. So what are you guys up to, for real? We're doing lunges. It's where you pick up the, the dog, run, runs 90 pounds, and you start to do lunges with the dog. Yeah. Nine, 90 yeah, pounds? Dog. Yeah. Uh, I'm not doing that. I have an idea. Assistant. Assistant. What? I need to you call have an my assistant, assistant now? <laughs> I do. Oh, my goodness. What's going oh, on? Here he comes. Hey, assistant. So what's the wait? A nine ounce and a four ounce. I'll take the four ounce. Thank a you, four sir. Four ounce stock. Okay, you guys ready for this? All right. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I just pulled a hammy and ripped my pants. You did? Get out of here. Get out of here. This is a family event. Get out of here. Unreal. Get that mullet shaved. All right, Trooper Black, you want to show the, the crew out here how you can do runges with K9 Rudd? Let's cheer on, guys. Here's runs. 90 miles. One, two, three, four, five. That is 35 runs <laughs> in dog legs. Let's thank Cooper Carly back and K9 Run, physical fitness gurus. All right, guess what, folks? I'm actually going to introduce another new dog. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's get the run. Round of applause. He's an 18 year veteran of the New York State Police Station of SP Catskill. He enjoys collecting snow globes and old editions of Cat Fancy Magazine in his basement apartment at his mother's house. And he introduced you to Trooper Jeff Jovich and K9 DJ. Now, DJ is a six year old male German Shepherd. He weighs about 75 pounds and he's a long haired German Shepherd. He has a specialty in explosives detection and he's named in honor of Trooper David Lane. Now, is Trooper Black showed us how to stay in shape for the troopers to stay in shape. One of the things Trooper Jovich is going to show is how we keep our dogs in shape. At our canine facility in Cooperstown, we have a very large agility course. An agility course challenges the dogs to keep them physically fit, as well as exposing them to different environments and surfaces that they may be challenged with in the field. So let's see canine DJ do a little agility. What do you think, guys? Yay! Here we go. Through the window. Up over the apron. 
Justin finds space in the tube. Oh, you're back. And, yeah, evidently, you just got a haircut. The Floby is working back there? Yes, yeah. yes the Floby is good. Oh, good. But you are talking way too much to these people out here. What? They want to be entertained and oh. you just keep talking. Blah, 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 I think blah. we're going to spice this up a little bit. All I right. think we're going to have DJ jump through a ring of fire. We can't How many, do that. Do you guys want to see DJ jump through a ring of fire? Yeah. Wait a second. So, this, this is here. a long-haired German Shepherd. It's can't okay. do that. Here's what I need everyone in the audience to do. Close your eyes for a second while I light the ring of fire. Shh, close your eyes. All right, open your eyes, be in the ring of fire! All right, our OSHA approved ring of fire. All right, let's see if we can do it. All right, folks. DJ Drozzi, let's get some ring of fire music. I All right, let's go get it. Jovich and K9 DJ. Now, if you guys have been to the State Fair before, you've seen the one and the only. Yes, the next K9 handler and his partner. Let me introduce, without any further ado, he's a 24 veteran, 24 year veteran of the New York State Police, stationed out of SP North Syracuse. And prior to becoming a trooper, back in 1992, he was voted the most popular lifeguard at Green Lake State Park by women at the age of 17 to 24, as well as men 35 to 40. Let me introduce to you Trooper Mark Bender and K9 Superdog Landon. Trooper Mark Bender. K9 Landon is a seven year old male German Shepherd. He specializes in narcotics detection as well as cadaver detection, named in honor of Trooper Amanda Anna. Trooper Mark Bender, K9. <laughs> Bandit, a leash is yeah, really dog. small, very small dog, very small. I remembered him as a 75 pound German Shepherd. So unfortunately, I, as you most, most of you people know, my dog is the high maintenance dog. Unfortunately, I get the end of the day off and he stayed home and it was the day the Royal Wedding was on TV. The Royal Wedding? The Royal Wedding. So he did a lot of thinking about this and he decided his grand entrance, he wants to Royalty. So here's a little focus on Miss Meghan Markle. As am I. <laughs> so if I could call out Manon's assistant. You, you've got an assistant for this dog too? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Trooper Connors, how strange to yeah. see you back. First, we are going to roll out Manon's red carpet. This is ridiculous. He is a royal dog. Oh. And I need to play him a little something. <laughs> Wait, are, are you calling out a dog or are you calling geese? Oh, much better. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, please focus your attention to the shed and the smoke coming from the shed. He is royalty. K9 Super Dog Bandits! Here we go. Crown and everything. This is an absolute outrage. Oh my goodness. What a high maintenance dog. Uh, again, Trooper Bender is a 24 year veteran of the New York State Police. And nobody takes his job more seriously than Trooper Bender. Here at Troop DK9, we're very, very focused on the job that we do. We're very, very strict and stay focused. Trooper Bender being the senior man, he's strict, he's orderly, he's got attention to detail, he's a fine example for young troopers to follow as well as young K9 handlers. And nobody better to do K9 obedience than Trooper Mark Bender and K9 Mandan. Are you guys ready to see Trooper Bender do some obedience with K9 Mandan? Okay, let's see. As you were. All right, Trooper Bender, let's show the group. Some canine obedience. Right now he's got him, canine man, on leash. So he's connected to Trooper Bender and he's healing right now. To heal means you stand the handler's left hand side and you can see how focused Mandon is on Trooper Bender. Goes around, does some turns. He'll give both verbal and nonverbal cues. So nonverbal cues mean hand signals because it's not all the time that we're able to speak. In a tactical situation or high-risk environment, we do not want somebody to, to know where we're at. So we'll give the dog hand signals to follow our commands. So he's giving the dog the command to, to down and to stay. And now he'll do off-lead healing. So the dog will stay right to his side even though he doesn't have the direct contact of the leash. Oh, fantastic. Great job. Tells the dog to sit and to down. The trooper Bender's gonna do what's called a recall. He's gonna keep the dog in a down and a stay. Manning's gonna pay attention to Trooper Bender, and even without saying anything, he knows to stay right there until he is recalled 
comes back to his handler, and his handler loves him up. Let's hear it for Trooper Mark Bender and K9 Superdog Mandan. Great job, team. What a fantastic team out there. A little high maintenance, but we can deal with them. We'll be all right. Hey, hey Bender. What's going on back there? Those cameras or what? What? Hey, Bender. What? what are you Paparazzi everywhere. Paparazzi for this dog without his royalty? What's going on with you? Oh, we got Billy. Oh, we got K9. Billy and K9 Rougie. They are Billy's a female sound wheel gold Belgian Malinois. K9 Rougie is a seven week old male Jamaican Malinois. Billy and K9 are the Rougie and Malinois. Billy and K9 are the Rougie and Malinois. Billy and K9 is a seven week old male Dutch Shepherd. It appears as though K9 Billy's plumbing works perfectly well. All right. Now, with the same police with our multi-purpose patrol dogs, we use three different breeds. We'll either use a German Shepherd like K9 Mandan, a Belgian Malinois like K9 Philly, or a Dutch Shepherd like K9 Rouge. All these are proven work dogs. They're very, very loyal, very intelligent, and very strong. And who knows, maybe in the next year, the K9 Philly and K9 Rouge will part of the, be part of the New York State Police. K9 unit, let's hear it for Tilly, Rouge, and Philly. All right, guys, and then Amanda, you are so high maintenance. You got your paparazzi. This is ridiculous. All right, folks, our next handler we're going to introduce. You've seen him once before. You're going to see him again. Again, he's down, down at SP Catskill. It's going to be Trooper Jeff Dovich and K9 DJ to show us some explosive detection. K9 DJ, Trooper Jeff Dovich. Trooper Jeff. Dovish. There he is! Out of nowhere. Fantastic job. Yeah. Now you'll see our explosive detecting canine teams often throughout the state of New York in areas of large public gatherings or critical infrastructure. Our job is to detect and deter from any kind of terroristic activity. So you'll see canine DJ as well as Trooper Dovich out there out and about in the airports or public gatherings and stuff like that to protect you folks while you're out with your families. So one of the things we have with the State Police canines is that they're extremely smart, but we have yet to teach them how to talk. So the way the canine DJ communicates with Trooper Dovich is he will sit when he detects the odor of an explosive because we wouldn't want that dog to scratch it about. So the dog will sit when he detects the odor of an explosive. Trooper Dovich, you want to show the group a little canine detection with canine DJ. Go get it, buddy. Sticks a variety of objects, some of the cycle bins, big band, a couple other things, fantastic. And here's as though K9 DJ is sat down next to that last recycle bin. So that's the indication of the odor of explosives. Is that correct? What do you got under there? An ABC bomb. What's an ABC bomb? ABC you later. Hey, 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 don't leave me out here with that thing. Get back here, Dovich. What are you doing? Trooper Connors, how what's going on? I haven't seen you all day. Where have you been? It's okay. It's it's not a real bomb. Oh, no, you're, you're, you're not a bomb disposal specialist. Yeah, you can't come out here. And... It's not a real bomb. I, I have something staging over here. You do? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, it's not in there. No. Where is the stage at? Yeah. Right it's over it's here? Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't touch it. You need a bomb disposal specialist to deal with any kind well, of TNT or explosives. I, I put it. I put this in a TNT box uh, because I knew it would keep people away. So I was. I, I decided to start working out today and uh, figure I need to keep my protein up. So. Uh, I, I have something in here. You're kidding me. A little dinosaur barbecue. Oh. This is proof that even DJ knows that dinosaur barbecue is the bomb. Get out of here. Trooper Connors are a hot mess. And folks, again, if you happen to see a bomb, smell a bomb, hear the word bomb, please don't take things in your own hand. Call 911, and the state police will send their bomb disposal unit there promptly. End of disclaimer, and on with the show. All right, folks, we're going to have one more handler come on out. You've seen him before. We're going to see him again. Let me introduce you to our seasoned veteran, Trooper Mark Bender and K-9, Superdog Mandan. All right, Trooper Bender and K-9 Mandan are a narcotics detecting team. So what Trooper Bender is going to show us with K-9 Mandan is how Mandan will detect for the odor of narcotics. Now, again, Mandan is extremely smart, but he does not talk as well. So he communicates with Trooper Bender when he finds the odor of narcotics by scratching that area. In his head, he thinks he's digging his toy out of that area. So Trooper Bender is going to show us some narcotics detection. Trooper Bender, reading Catster Magazine. What's going on with you? This is my contractual break time. It's our demonstration. You're supposed to be doing this demo for the detection. I didn't schedule the demo. You did. Why are you throwing this on me? We got director. A, we, people expected to see some stuff out here. So 
Is Manon contractually obligated for this? He's not in my union. All right, Manon, you want to go to work today? I need some help here today. All right, what I'm looking for is a future state trooper or potential future canine handler. There's a test to be taken, and you guys got to be really, really sharp. And I need you to be a real good group here. Let's see who I might... You with the cool sunglasses. Very intimidating. Come on out here. You've already got the highway patrol glasses on, so that's a half a point. Fantastic. Come on out here, buddy. All right. What's your name? How about I just call you Maxwell? Is that a good start? Okay, Maxwell. How old are you? 18 or 19? Nine. Get out of town, nine. Oh, is he? Awesome. So, Maxwell, you're nine, and what part of New York are you from? You're from Greece, so outside of the Rochester area. Let's hear it from Maxwell from Greece, folks. All right, but there is going to be an entrance exam here, okay? So pardon me, I say trooper. You remember that Trooper Black said you had to be uh, very you know, physically fit, right? Can you give me three push-ups? Uh -oh. Down, up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three. That is 21 dog push-ups, by the way. I love it, Maxwell. You're awesome. All right, I got another question for you. What is the fastest land animal? Uh -oh. Cheetah, this kid is brilliant. Future trooper, I love it. All right, your last last question I'm gonna ask you. Which canine handler, the New York State Police canine exhibit is your favorite canine handler, Maxwell? Trooper, Enab. Perfect answer, future trooper, outstanding. All right, we've got a good candidate. Come on over here, Maxwell. All right, can you, you think you can handle a state police canine? All right, I'm going to give you some safety gloves, okay, Maxwell? Here's your right glove. You can put that one on. You're welcome. And thank you for using your nice manners. I appreciate it. Here's your left glove. All right. Now, Maxwell, this is what we need to do when we look at the crowd. Let's intimidate them and give them the claw. Ready? One, two, three. Claw. All right. All right. They're all. See how back they stay? Perfect. All right, Maxwell, you're ready to handle canine man. Do you think you can do it? All right. Trooper Benderick, can I inconvenience you to at least bring your dog over here? to have Maxwell work with him. Can you do that? All right, Maxwell, we're going to do some narcotics detection with canine Mandan. So hold on to that loosely. Ready? Ready, Sam? Search find drugs. Search find drugs. Oh, that was... And what's he going to do when he finds something? What's he doing? Should we give him a toy to, to give him praise? I think he found it. Good job, Maxwell. You can let go of that leash. Fantastic. Let's see what he found. All right, let's lift underneath the recycle bin. What did he find? A cardboard box. That's awesome. Maxwell, great job. Cardboard box. Part of being a trooper is you got to use investigative skills. Am I correct, Maxwell? This is the next portion of the program. Open the box, Maxwell. Let's see what you got. What did what did Canine Man and find for you? Maxwell, show the group the Trooper Foundation Stop German Shepherd for your expert. Fantastic job, Maxwell. Let's hear from Maxwell. Good job, buddy. All right. Hey, Maxwell, you can keep the dog. Give me my patrol dogs back. Right. Don't get too comfortable with me, buddy. Fantastic job. You did such a super job. You take it easy. All right. Thank you very much. Let's hear from Maxwell. Great job, big buddy. Super job. And I'm so glad, man, you finally got... Out to actually do some work, even though his handler didn't want to do anything. Control to State Police K-9. State Police K-9's on control. State Police K-9 are able to assist State Police units on 690. They have a mortar vehicle failing to comply, possibly involved in an armed robbery. Affirmative. K-9 shooting and K-9 man in, in the room. Control copy. I'll patch you through. Out here. This sounds like a pursuit. So you guys just stay in the seat, okay? We'll remain calm. We'll get this done with here shortly, okay? Okay. Okay. Speed around 80 miles per hour. That's right around You're here. Approaching the fairground. Oh my goodness. Copy, 2D12. 2D1A, I have spike strips deployed. Just watch the fairground. The vehicle hit the spike strips. Three tires deflated. The vehicle just spun out in front of the fairground. That's right around here. Tell me when you stay in the conversation. You see for a second for me, okay? Thank you very much. Please helicopter 1816. I have a visual on the suspect. He just hopped the fence near gate 4. It's right around here. If you guys happen to see anybody suspicious, just let me know, okay? Anybody out of the ordinary, just let me know. All right, thank you. Can you post it? Bloodhound Sheeney's on the trail of the suspect. Bloodhound Sheeney's trailing the suspect. We're approaching the state police canine exhibit demonstration. Contact with the suspect. There he is. 
Trooper Mother, you and Nana take over. K9 Chidi and I are going to hang out over here. This is News Channel 9. Now, Trooper Red is trying to get compliance from the felony suspect, giving him direct orders to stay still and not to challenge him. He's a felony suspect. He's not listening. He deploys Brandon, who engages the bad guy and arrests the bad guy. To arrest means to hold, and the way Mandan arrests somebody is he will bite and hold onto his arm until Trooper Bender releases Mandan from the bite. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> Oh, I'd really like a second chop out of him. So Mandan, very obedient, comes back to Trooper Bender, comes in heels and lays down next to Trooper Bender to always pay attention to what Bender does. Now Bender's gonna pat that guy down to make sure there's no weapons on him whatsoever. What do you got there, Trooper Bender? A gun, nice job. Take the gun off the bad guy. Good work out there. There was excellent teamwork. Easy, easy. Take the gun. Now Bender, let's cuff him up and take him downtown. Let's get this over with. Good job, Mandan. That guy moves. K9 Mandan disobeys all basic obedience to ultimately always protect his handler, Trooper Bender, and engages the bad guy again. And for that, he's rewarded with one artificial human arm, K9 Super Dog Mandan. Great job, Trooper Bender and Mandan. A great job, Bloodhound Sheedy and Trooper Kevin Connors. As we saw, uh, K9 Superdog Man is always there to protect Trooper Bender, and all of our K9 partners are there to protect us. It's our obligation to protect them. Every one of our dogs has issued a ballistic vest to protect them from gunfire. Every one of our dogs is also given great veterinary care 24 hours a day. And every one of our vehicles has a heat regulatory system in it, so if it get too warm like a day today, inside the windows automatically drop, a fan turns on, and an alarm goes off. And finally, the dogs are the state's dogs and we're their handlers. But when they retire, they're signed over to us as our pets, so they're with us for the duration. We all obviously enjoy the jobs that we do. We have a great deal of interest in what we do, and we're glad that you have an interest in what we've done as well. You've been a great crowd. Enjoy our Trooper Foundation store. You'll meet and greet with our canine handlers. And stand by for the Special Operations Response Team very shortly. And enjoy your great day at the Great New York State Fair. Thank you so much. My dog is just small. I don't know if my dog was ever this small. Hi guys. Oh. 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 Oh